Hello, this is Tori Wielt with the Oracle Technology Network. We are here live on the floor of Java One. We're already having a great time. We had uh, the keynotes yesterday. We had the beginning of sessions. We had uh, Java user group sessions that were full. We had information about Glassfish, right? So um, we're going to dive right in uh, to Java EE. I have John Klingen who's with me. Hey, John, yeah, how are you doing? Pretty good. Yeah. So John Klingen is a product manager for Java EE and Glassfish. So he knows it. He knows it all, and he's going to help us out a little bit. So the version of Java EE that's currently out right now is Java EE seven. Okay, and how's adoption for that been? Java uh, EE seven adoption's actually been uh, quite good. So today we have uh, Glassfish, which is the, the reference implementation for Java EE, and we have uh, Wildfly is another Java EE 7 implementation, as well as uh, Team Axoff has an implementation uh, called JS that's been put out there for a while. Okay, so um, EE 7 has been out, but tell me kind of the theme of that release and what were the, some of the high-level features to that? Yeah, sure. So uh, there's actually quite a... Uh, quite a few new features, and what we do is we categorize them into, into themes. So, to me, kind of the theme that's near and dear to my heart, and it's been the case uh, over a few releases now, is ease of use. So, we've really have been focusing on developer productivity, making sure that developers can crank out a lot of code in uh, a very short period of time. So, uh, with this release, we've uh, reduced the amount of boilerplate code that developers have to write, so a lot of... Uh, and we're putting a lot of investment into basically a Pojo or kind of Java object kind of development right. model. Right. And basically you just annotate your Java objects and that uh, adds features to your Java objects and, and helps make the enterprise development pretty simple. Okay, so some of the repetitive stuff you had to do in EE, you mm -hmm. know, just those lines and lines of code that yep. you're, yeah, that's gone now, right? Yeah, uh, well, I, I can give you a really good example. Okay. Uh, JMS2. What used to take you know, 20, 30 lines of code just to send the message out on a queue, uh, now only takes just one or two lines of code. So, Excellent. Yeah, really reduced a lot of that boilerplate code. Wow, I really appreciate the engineers that made that happen. Yep. yep. And so it makes the developer's life a lot easier. Um, one of the interesting things, I'm going to throw you a little bit of a curveball, <laughs> but because we like to do it that way. Um, one of the things I heard yesterday was kind of the technical yes. and hype debt that Java EE is um, paying off. So you said mm -hmm. something about J2E is dead, <laughs> long live Java EE. Tell me what yes. that means. Well, it's, it's interesting because I did a search on, uh, I think it was Indeed, looking for uh, all the jobs that are out there for Java EE, just trying to get an idea. And to find all the jobs, you have to search for not just Java EE, but also J2EE, right? And it's interesting, there's over 17,000 Java EE related jobs out there, but J2EE is basically a release that we, a version name approach that we stopped using beginning in uh, 2006 when we introduced Java EE. Okay, right? I'm so, doing the math here. Yeah. Eight years ago. Eight, okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Eight years ago. It's like, do people call it J2SE anymore? Right. You know? But they seem to still call it J2EE. And the reason I think that's a pretty important that we talk to people about Java EE is that not only was it a, a, a change to the brand and name, it was also a change in philosophy that we approached with Java EE, with really focusing on ease of use and productivity, and that's where it all started. So we've been working on that since you know, for the last eight years, right? right and it's right. actually become quite simple to write uh, some pretty compelling enterprise applications. Right. So it's not the same beast it used to be. And if you have a bad impression of J2EE, that's okay. That's because, long gone, yeah. Because that's long gone, and we've got something that's easier to install, easier to get started, right, mm -hmm. and easier to code to. So yep. that's the word we want to get out. Give it a chance. Give it a shot. Java EE 7. Yes. Okay. So Glassfish, the reference implementation. Oh, I, I, and you know what? I apologize. Right. There's right. two more things. That was my favorite thing. Okay. There's two more things, and okay. we don't have to dig into them too much, but uh, okay. HTML5, there's a lot of HTML5 development going on, okay. and we added features like WebSockets and, and JSON processing to make uh, HTML5 uh, development a lot easier. And obviously, HTML5 is a client-side technology, right. but we make sure that we provide a way to build really scalable application or really scalable services that HTML5 clients can connect to very easy to do. Okay. okay. Yeah. So that's the second thing. The third one is meeting enterprise demand. So we're not forgetting about the enterprise. The world isn't all web, right? So we added a batch API, and right. um, we also added concurrency utilities 
for developing highly scalable applications on the back end as well. So that, okay, great. So, all right, so EE7 is easier to work with. Mm -hmm. uh, it gives you some HTML5, so mm -hmm. it's in the real world. Mm -hmm. And there's some other support for enterprise, big enterprise, yep, big enterprise applications. Excellent. Okay, so there have been some announcements about Glassfish. Tell me about the relationship between Java EE and Glassfish. Sure. So, Java EE, uh, as part of the, the Java standard, goes through the Java community process. And one of the requirements to have a, a standard through the Java community process is to have a reference implementation. Right, so, you have to build something using the specification, you know, build an implementation of the specification so people know. Uh, that what you're building is, you know, pragmatically, you know, implementable. And so, we've actually, with Glassfish, more or less is the Java EE reference implementation. Okay. And so, we deliver Glassfish very close, if not the same day, that we release the most, uh, the latest and greatest Java platform release. So, when we announced the release of Java EE 7, alongside that we released Glassfish. Okay. Uh, Glassfish 4, which is um, you know a, an open source application server, very easy to use, and the most important thing is it immediately lets developers use the latest and greatest technologies that we announced on the platform. Ah, okay. Yeah. So you can actually download it, uh, take it for a test drive with your current application, see how it works, take advantage of the new features. And take right? advantage of the new features. And, even tied into that, so Glassfish is available at glassfish.org. Sorry, okay. I, I got a plug there. Yeah, glassfish.org. <laughs> Go there now. And there's also the Java EE SDK. Okay. So it, it bundles Glassfish, but also a tutorial and samples that really is more of a complete experience about how to learn the latest Java EE technologies. And you can get that from uh, oracle.com slash Java EE. That's the easiest uh, okay. place to remember to go and download that. Okay, so you get the EE SDK and it has Glassfish in it. You said it's got some examples. Yes, yeah, so sample code. So if I want to see what's going on with, you know, the guy said there's HTML5 support in it, but what does that really mean? You right. get, a, get a way to take a look at that. Yeah, in addition to the tutorial that tells you how to use it and then the sample okay. to look at. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, so SE8 came out, so I got to ask you, what's the situation with EE8? Okay, so Java EE8. Um, Java EE8 is uh, basically approved as a JSR, as well as some other JSRs. Um, so Java EE8, um, the themes that we're focusing on this year, and I, I mentioned it before, it was my favorite thing that we're going to continue, and that's ease of use, basically, continues forward. Uh, we're going to continue to enhance the HTML5 experience. Right, so, and the third theme, maybe I'll get the, all the themes out uh, yeah, okay. this time. No, I'm, I'm, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, the, the third theme is basically um, cloud enablement. So enabling you to deploy uh, your applications to the cloud in a portable manner. So you'll be able to take your applications and move them from cloud to cloud um, in, uh, well, in, in cloud environments. Yeah, that does seem to be the big buzz, right, is cloud yeah. and getting, getting stuff up there. So it's really cool. Yeah, and I, the other thing that's really important about EE8 is we heavily involved the community with Java EE8. So we uh, basically created a survey, uh, a three-part survey, and asked the community, what do you want to see in Java EE8? And we asked them to prioritize the features so we know um, basically where we should allocate you know, all of our experienced people to kind of go off and build the right things into the platform. No, I don't believe that. That's yeah. not true. You guys had it all worked out. No, yeah. I, I was really impressed to see the number of responses mm -hmm. you got to the survey, mm -hmm. and it, honestly, it really did help you guys make decisions about where to put your resources, yeah. right? Yeah, without that survey, you know, we would just kind of be doing what we wanted to do as opposed to what <laughs> the people wanted, you know, the developer in the community wanted to do. So 4,500 responses is, is what we got from that survey. Wow, that's yeah. excellent. Yeah, and as a product manager, that's a dream come true. Oh, yeah, right? that's Your the job requirements is to, right there. Okay, excellent. So, yeah, basically I delegated my responsibility <laughs> to the community. <right? laughs> yeah, don't work, automate yourself out of a job here, John. Um, so great. So I'm glad you're here. You're, I see you guys got a booth over here. You've been doing some demos. So people yep. are in town and want to drop by and take a look. Otherwise, you, you can go to oracle.com slash Java EE and find out the latest and greatest. Get all the information. You can go to the Oracle Technology Network to check out all the downloads we've got for you and see what's going on and see how you can get involved in the Java community. Thank you, John, for coming Thank you, by. Thank for inviting me. Yep. This is Tori Wheel from the Oracle Technology Network.